Hey everybody, Luke here with Acrobus Leather. Uh, I'm gonna do a quick gallop through all the stock parts and accessories of the tool belts. Um, so we're gonna do the stitched in place bags, the stealth bags, and the HR series of the stealth bags. For starters, uh, we'll start with this belt, little belt here. This is called the trimmer. Really simple front worn uh, tool belt. This actually could be worn front or rear worn because it's totally symmetrical, same left and right. So it's got the same loops on either side. So it's got pencil holders or driver holders and a loop for a knife or pliers, um, leather loops on either side. And with this little belt, uh, obviously tape in the front and some bit holders here. With this belt, there's also a couple add-ons that can be put onto this. So you could put a metal hammer loop on this side and you could put a brad nail holder on this side. So a few add-ons for that one. So that is the trimmer. Then we get into the framer. So this would be kind of a workhorse on the job site for guys who uh, want something fairly light. It is a front worn again for us front pouchers. Um, and this boasts a few features that uh, virtually no other front worn tool belts have. Being a diagonal nail bar sheath. So your nail bar goes right through here like that. So it's not sticking your sticking in the calf when you squat down. It's not ripping your pants. So that goes there. Um, and all of my left side bags have fiberglass rod in the hem here. So there is a dedicated perfect spot for your rafter square. It fits in there perfectly and you can see it doesn't stick out at all. Works fantastic. Um, virtually all my left side bags also have a stick nail sheath right here. And there, again, there's fiberglass rod in the hem. So that stays perfectly square. And then some extra loops. The Pencil holders on all my bags as well. There's a short one and a long one. So a brand new full length pencil fits nicely in here and a short stubby fits in here. And then there's also a spot in here you can put a Sharpie in there as well. Um, hammers go in the back right on virtually all my setups. And there's a spot between these two big black pieces of leather for your knife to fit into. Uh, tape front and center, that is about it on this one. It also has a loop in the back left that you can put a chisel in or a combination square. So that's the framer. Then we get into my personal favorite and the one that I wear on the job site, this beast. That wasn't awkward at all. So this is the boss. Um, this, in my opinion, is the most efficient layout that you can get. This is a front-worn tool belt that works well with suspenders. So typically the issue with a front-worn tool belt with suspenders on it, you've got to lift the whole thing up over your head and wriggle into it to have it, uh, to get into it with suspenders. So this one, I have a size adjustment in the back, a traditional buckle, but in the front, I have this cool quick release D-ring clip like that. So you can clip that together and it gets you in and out of the front really quickly. Once the size is set in the back, you just leave that alone. So features wise, what is different from this one from the framer is that in the right side, there's a big divider in here. You've got extra loops so you can keep all your stuff a little bit more organized. This one also comes with a drill clip on the back right and a hideaway tool hook right here. And you can see right now that it's tucked out of the way and is not sticking out, so it won't hook your hoses or your cords. But when you want it, you can lift it up, and flip it around, and hook it down in the back of the hem in the bag here. And now that hook is out, and that'll hold a nailer or a high-speed drill. Works out really, really nice, and when you don't need it, it's tucked and gone. Uh, on the left side, this one, again, compared to the framer, adds a third outer bag on the left side. So now we'll get into the stealth bags. So we'll start on the right side. So this is the R1 HB. This is a fairly base model bag, but again, would serve most guys really, really well. Um, few loops on the inside. All the bags are set up with this extra loop on the front right for the tool hook, if you wanna add that. So that is the R1 HB. From there, we go to the R1 HB Plus. So this one adds an interior divider on the inside so you keep your stuff organized. And then this is the R1 HBD Plus. So this one has an added diagonal sheath here. So you can put a mallet in there, you can put your hammer in here and put snips back here. Gives you a few more options for storage. Then we go to the R1 HB Max. So this one, compared to the R1HB, adds 
um, extra interior loops, high bit index, it adds the tool hook, and also the impact clip on the outside of this bag right here. After that, this is the R1 HBD Max. So again, similar to the other one with the diagonal hammer loop, but it also adds the bit index, uh, the extra loops inside, includes the tool hook and the drill clip. And one more on the right side, and this is the R1 HDL. So it's got a diagonal hammer loop right here. And on this side, the back right, this is primarily for Aussies and for electricians if they wanted to use this bag. This has got a few unique features to it. So this will hold a fourfold, which goes right in here, and a torpedo level, like so. And then you can still have the diagonal hammer in the front here. So that is the R series, the right side bags. So from there, we go to the left side. So this one, right, that's right. This is an L1T, uh, LT1, pardon me. So this bag um, gives one outer bag, one great big bag here. So you got two big fastener bags. And again, we've got that uh, fiberglass rod set in the hem for your rafter square, the diagonal nail bar sheath. All the left side bags now I'm putting um, bit indexes on. So that's the ideal side for it. Drill in your right hand, bit index on your left. So that'll be included in all, in all of them. And then these come with the tape. That's my standard is tape front left side. That's right here. So then we go to the LT2. And it's identical to the other one, but it adds a third outer bag on the left side. From there, we have the LT2 Max. And so this one, this one adds an interior divider. So that means that this big bag here is no longer any good for fasteners because it's all full of dividers. But if you need to carry a ton of stuff, this has got a whole bunch of extra loops and uh, organization options for you. So that kind of exhausts the left side bags. Okay, so now we're into the HR series. Um, HR stands for high rise. So guys working on high rises or dams, great big tall towers and structures. Um, what's unique about these, uh, besides the fact that they're all black, uh, is that they have D-rings off of all of the bag corners. So you have anchor points for all of your hand tools that you're not allowed to drop. Um, this, is, this one's a little bit unique. Uh, from now on, this will have a bit index up here as well, but this is an LT1. And so it's got a nice big open tier. It's exactly the same as the LT1, the standard one, except that it's all black with the D-rings and it would also have a bit index up here typically. Um, then we go to the L2, the LT2, which has a, the extra outer bag. And then on the right side, Here's an R1 HB, and again, this big open interior in here. So for me, if I'm working on the roof, it wouldn't be an HR series, um, but I'd fill this bag with H clips when I'm sheeting a roof. And then, an R1 HB Max. So again, same as the other one, but it's an HR series. Okay, and then we've got some auxiliary bags. So again, I've got these, this is, uh, these are called B bags. So this is a B1, and I've got a B1S. So this is a B1S, it's a small one, and this is an HR series, it's got the D-rings on it, but I've got these identical bags that are just called a B1, a B1S, and a B2 that don't have the D-rings. So the B1S, the regular B1, and the B2. So it's two stacked bags on that one. And then along with the HR series, this is an HR3D. So for guys who have extra tools, this can be put on the back of, the, of your harness. Instead of the back, you can hang your tools off these three D-rings. So that takes care of the stealth stuff. Um, just so you can see when all assembled, this is a stealth setup, all assembled. Um, so I do these big four inch belt pads and these are cut with slots in them so that you can weave the belt through these slots, through the bags, through suspender mounts. And when this is all assembled, this thing is locked in place. These bags aren't sliding off. When you take your tool belt off, these bags don't slide off your belt, which would be incredibly annoying. So I've got four different sizes of these, uh, small, Small, medium, large, and extra large at this point, and a couple of different belt sizes for those of you who would need the extra length as well. So that's how this looks. what this looks like when it's all put together, and clearly this would be a rear-worn setup with that buckle in the front. So that is the stealth bags. So accessories-wise, 
Bunch of options for accessories. So this little bag here, this is a, a brad nail sheath. So this will take up to two and a half inch wide nails. Um, and then of course you put down to one inch, three quarter, whatever, but this has got fiberglass rod in the hem. It stays nice and square. So ideally this would be put on the back left side. So you reach that with your left hand. And then here's a stick nail sheath, and this has got a, a, an angled bottom on it so that when you organize your nails, you drop them in here, they bear against this angled corner versus having a square bottom where all those corners bear down on the edge and wear through. These will sit in here and last a long time. Again, this has got fiberglass rod in the hem to keep it nice and square. Uh, cell phone holders, sizing wise, these are kind of tricky. Phones are becoming TVs these days. So I can do, uh, I'll probably do a couple sizes of these. And these can either be a chest mount on the suspender or I can do slots in the back and they can be a belt mount and they can go in the center in the back of the stealth bags. Got a couple different hammer holders. Uh, so this is kind of my standard one, which is that low hanging hammer. Uh, and this will also accept a utility knife in this slot here. Uh, and I've also got a high rise one. So this will just keep it higher up on your waist belt. And this, the waist belt will just feed through these two slots here. I've got a fixed drill hook. So this would be ideal for drywallers. So those of you have to have a drill on your, on your body up nice and high and fixed in place. This doesn't swivel at all. It's nice and sturdy. So you wear up nice and high. So if you're holding board, for instance, over your head, your drill's up nice and high to get a hold of it. I've got these add-on tool hooks. So these again on the right side bags, they all have a loop to accept that. So this is an actual add-on. So if you wanted one of the lower series bags or the lower cost bags, you can add this on. And uh, I think those are 20 bucks to add those. I can also add on these little impact clips uh, in most spaces, most spots, where as long as I can access the, uh, the back of the bag. Um, but this is a little, little drill clip that we can add on to the outsides of the bags. When you get suspenders for the looped bags, for the stealth bags, then there's a suspender mount kit. So I've got these loops that are nice heavy belt leather that will uh, hang your suspenders for you. And I've got a suspender mount drill clip, this funny looking thing. So this is so that if you need to, I've got one on here. At the front right corner, you can put a, a, a drill clip up nice and high to hang your impact up high in the front versus having to reach around to the back of your body. So that's what that's for. And then the suspenders. <laughs> The suspenders that I make, um, again, having lots, having, having had several pairs of suspenders over the years from different manufacturers, a few things that drove me nuts about them, um, one being that the chest strap always slid around on me. So I have included halter squares on the chest strap so you can set the locations, they don't slide around. I've also put uh, length adjustments on the front and on the back so that you can actually dictate where this ring goes and where the suspenders hang on your shoulders. And the suspenders are also riveted right to the strap. So these straps aren't gonna slide up and down and drive you crazy. So those are the suspenders that are compatible with all my belts. And like I'd mentioned already, here is a uh, belt pad. And just a heads up, I sewed these together on my cylinder arm sewing machine, uh, which is just a big steel beam that comes out. And I drape these over it. So they're the two plies of leather this is made from are actually sewn with a radius in them. So I don't sew them on a flat bed like this. And then when you bend them, they wrinkle the inside. They're actually sewn with a radius in them. So they fit you really, really nice. And these nice big loops that everything all feeds through and uh, give you a four inch, a four inch smooth pad so that you know the loops don't go over top of this whole thing, they're on the belt in the back, so you get this nice smooth pad against your body. And last but not least, uh, the belt. So this is 10, 12 ounce leather, uh, nice big sturdy buckle on it, and I'll do these in a 48 inch or a 54 inch belt, depending on what your needs are. Okay, a few more products that we've added to the lineup is something I'm calling the Super Belt. So the Super Belt is a standard waist belt with the addition of this quick release buckle, the same that I have on my Boss Belt. I had a lot of guys seeing that buckle and wanting that same feature in the stealth bag setup. So the way that that works is you've got a standard buckle for your size adjustment, and then right behind it, you've got a quick release buckle on it. So that works out really well, and the way that looks on the setup is like this. So this gets all threaded through here. It's a bit of a unique way that I've had to make this buckle work. So the belt actually doubles back on itself and then you feed it through these loops. But once your size is set, then you're in and out with this seat belt style buckle. So there's a button on the inside here. Uh, there's no side release wings on this thing that you're gonna hit by accident. This is tucked away inside. It's super simple, really strong, uh, works really well. It's actually hardware that was originally used in the Second World War for some of the parachute hardware. Um, so I came across these and just love them. Um, another thing that we've added is a couple 
couple outer bags for the left side. Um, ones that you can actually change out. So I had been building these with solid rivets set at the corners to mount this bag, and I've changed that to Chicago screws, which is a threaded two-piece rivet or a nut and a bolt that actually hold these bags on here. So now what you can do, if you want to change your setup from having two outer bags on the left to go to one, you can pull those three screws out and put a single bag on. So we'll be selling a single outer bag as an option or a double outer bag, if you have a single one, I want to change to a double. The other nice thing about that is if down the road, if this bag is damaged, you can always pull those screws out and put a brand new one on here. One other thing that we've added is a modified suspender loop, these guys here. So I'll be selling these in sets of two, and I've got standard suspender loops, which is just a leather loop with a ring on it, and now I've added these ones that have a great big heavy loop off the bottom. The nice thing about these, the whole point of that is to hang heavy tools, a nailer for instance, so that would get mounted. I've got right-handed and left-handed ones, so they'll come in a set, so one that could go here, another one that could be mounted at the back. And the nice thing about this, with heavy tools like nailers for instance, if you hang your nailer on here, it's not pulling on your bag. It's not twisting your tool belt all out of shape. It's actually pulling on the suspenders and the load is on your shoulders. Now you could get this loop and just mount it to the belt without suspenders at all. It would still function fine. But the nice thing with suspenders, you get all the load is hanging on your shoulders. And that pretty much wraps it all up. Thanks. Thanks.